Boxing fans, you've been fooled once again. Come on, you guys really thought we were going to get Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence? This is boxing. Come on, man. Terrence Crawford announced that he's going to fight welterweight David Avanesian. Who the fuck is that guy? I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. I did some research on the guy, and I mean, he does have some good power behind him, but who cares? This is not what we want to see. Nobody wants to see this fight. This is just another case of boxing robbing us from one of the biggest fights that we've all wanted to see, and all fans are doing is just playing the blame game. Crawford fans are saying this is Spence's fault. Spence's fans are saying this is Crawford's fault. At the end of the day, we don't get the fight we want to see. This has become a joke at this point. This fight had lost a lot of steam since it took so long to finally look like it was about to happen. And now that it's not happening, once again, I would be surprised if this fight even does 200,000 when it does, if it does gets made. As boxing fans, we need to send out a message. I think we should boycott both of these guys' fights. Let them have extremely low pay-per-view numbers or last fights. Maybe they'll get it. Maybe they'll understand like, damn, we really need to fight each other or these fans are just going to get sick of us. Eddie Hearn believes that Andy Ruiz could beat Deontay Wilder, says, I see him beating Deontay Wilder. Yeah, good luck with that. Listen, I've always said Deontay Wilder, there's only one man in this world that can beat him, and that was Tyson Fury. Due to size, being able to make him miss, and also having the skills. None of the opponents that he faced before were able to move and make him miss like Tyson Fury did. And even then, there was instances where I thought Tyson Fury got knocked out. And one thing about Andy Ruiz, he's there to get hit. To beat Wilder, you gotta be able to make him miss and you gotta come in on him. But Andy Ruiz doesn't have the size to be able to come in on him. I mean, look, anything's possible. This is boxing after all, heavyweight boxing at that. One punch can change anything, but I just, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. In other boxing news, Bob Arum thinks the fans want Fury versus Derek Chisora, the trilogy. You don't have to sell anything. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. If anybody wants this fight, comment below, please. Now, why on God's green earth would anybody want to see this trilogy? I didn't even want to see the trilogy between him and Wilder, which was much more entertaining. He's already showed he's levels above Shisora twice. No need for this. But negotiations fell apart between him and Joshua once again. Uh, surprise, surprise, huh? But anyways, I don't think they have anybody else for him because uh, Tyson Fury himself said he wants nothing to do with Usyk and then two days later said he wanted to fight him and beat him up. So this flip flopper talks a lot, says a lot, never does anything. So this is another example of just bullshit in boxing.